So the guys at Highland Outdoors and Webley and Scott seem to have a little bit of an odd business plan at the moment. And I'm not sure if it's a bad idea or absolutely genius. So as you guys saw a couple of months ago, we reviewed the Kizzle Kai, which is a copy of the infamous DT11. And they have now released this, their Sport X, which to me is a dead ringer for the Blazer F16. So I put them side by side yesterday, had a quick look at them, and they are almost identical. You've got that scalloped out action, you've got the flared breech around the chamber of the, of the barrels, and you have also got that blazer style ejector system. Now, you all know my feelings on the blazers. The last one did actually change my mind. And I do really like this. It's got beautiful wood on it. I really like the ergonomics of the grip. It has a really nice feel to it, a lovely shape, nice palm swell. And the wood on it is beautiful. So it comes with grade three Turkish walnut. Again, it's available in 30 or 32 inch, obviously steel proof, multi-choke, three inch chambered, everything that you need. Now, I think the proof is gonna be in the pudding, whether it handles as well as the F16 and whether it shoots as well as it. So I'm gonna go and get it set up on the back of the truck and you will all be shocked by this. I've actually found a gun that is far too low in the stock for me. So we'll go and get it jacked up and we'll head out and break a few plays. Don't don't get in my head already. <laughs> <laughs> So I set it far too high to begin with. So we've had a quick mid-session refit. Just drop the front down a bit, get the head down a bit lower. So far, I really like it. I really like the grip. I don't know whether any of you saw, but with my old Caesar, we'd filed out the grip, dropped it in to drop the hand in. This has got that absolutely down to a T. Pull. Pull. Did I break both of them? <laughs> <laughs> Pull. Pull. I think I'm over the top of that, you know. Too quick. I've choked it up today, so I've gone with the half and the three quarter choke. Really impressed, it's patterned really, really nicely. I'm shooting the plastic wad sporting 107 and a half, and it seems to really like them. I've had some really, really nice kills. I think it's a nice gun. I think for the money, it's probably a better option than some of the others on the market, potentially like the more expensive ATAs and the Pro Comp. I really like the shape of it. I love that it comes with the grade three wood and it's just got a really, really nice feel to it. The balance is not, wonderful like many webley and scots it's a bit front end heavy but it's something that's fixable with a little bit of lead in the back oh i forgot that was going up there. Gonna finish up on the five stand. Um, I really wanted to shoot some fit ass, but the ground is really, really busy today, which is really, really nice to see. What can I say? I really like it. I think for the price point, for 1300 quid, 
it is an absolute steal. A decent length, 15 inch stock, adjustable comb. The grip suits me down to a T. It's definitely not a blazer. That is for sure, it's not comparable. But at 1,300 pounds, as an entry level sporter, I really don't think you can go wrong. Five chokes, everything from skeet up to full as you would expect. It patterns really nicely with the shells that we've been using today. As I said, it's a touch front and heavy. Might suit you, might not, but it's fixable with a little bit of weight in the back. I just think it's gonna be a damn good buy at that money. So, go and have a go at this five stand to see how we get on. So let's go over the specifications first. So the gun that we have here is 30 inch. It is available in 32 as well. Three inch chambered, multi-choke and steel proof. It comes with a 14 and 7 8 inch adjustable comb stock in grade three walnut, and it tips the scales at eight pound three. Now the RRP on these I think is phenomenal at 1299. The one that we've got here is our X demo gun. It will be going online at £1,099. I will put the link in the description below for you guys if you would like to have a look at it. So the Webbing Scots come with just a cardboard box instead of a case. However, they do come with a set of five extended chokes, choke key, and all the gubbins that you need for your adjustable comb. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a bit of a dead ringer for the F-16. And I'm not sure if this sort of decision that Webley and Scott Highland Outdoors have made is the best thing. But actually, I think they've done a really good job. And I think what it helps with is the F-16 and the Blas in general, very distinctive model in the black action, that this is the same. It really does stand out. So you've got that similar scalloped out at the back of the action and the very, very similar Blazer style ejector system. Now, if you put these next to the F-16 that we have got on the shelf, they are an absolute dead ringer. And it has got that real Blazer look about it. Now, one of the things that I really, really loved about the gun was the ergonomics of the grip. It has got a really, really nice feel to it. Nice scoop out here for the hand to sit into. A very subtle palm as well. It is just a bit of me. Now, everything else about the gun it's difficult with guns like this because when you come across the Turkish market, they're all done for a budget. But I think this is going to be one of those that is really difficult to beat. Now that the price of the Yieldix Pro Black have jumped up, I think this is going to fill the spot. And it is a little bit better than the ATAs that you come across. And as much as I love them, I think this is a bit of a step up. I've got I like the nice matte action and the matte barrels. It's a really, really nice finish. You see that a lot now on sporter models. <sighs> The shape of the forend, it's a bit odd. Uh, I mean, it looks quite deep. I'm not sure why they've done it, but I say that, but it's got, again, a really nice feel to it. It sits perfectly in the hands. It just looks a little bit funny. And the only other thing that I can pick fault with it is the checkering. It's obviously laser done. It's very, very flat on the top. And obviously you've got the Webley and Scott logo in here, which I'm not a huge fan of, but for 1,300 pounds, Think you could live with it and i really do think it is going to be a difficult difficult one to beat on the market i just can't seem to pick any major faults with it and on the day the gun patterned beautifully shot a bit of choke with it the half and three quarter choke and it just dusted plenty plenty of targets the 32 inch i can see it being a bit front end heavy this is already balancing just just in front of the joint pin i mean what's that three quarters of an inch, inch in front of the joint pin. It's fixable with some lead in the back. And I don't think that'd be a problem taking it up to, you know, let's say eight pounds six, eight pounds seven to get it balanced, being a sporter gun. I can't see that being a problem at all. It, it would just soak up a little bit more recoil. But I do think, I do think the guys at Webley and Scott have really got it right. And I do like what they've done. You know, copying other brands, it either goes really well or it goes really badly. And I think the guys here have done a really, really good job of it. So this is definitely, definitely one to keep your eyes on. So thank you for watching this week, guys. Be back to you next week with another video. 
I'd like to say a huge thank you to you all for watching this week and also to our amazing sponsors who help make our weekly videos possible. There's a link in the description below if you fancy checking them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with our new videos released every Thursday.